welcome back to our channel. We're Dos Cavazos and we're watching another movie today. This is American Psycho. So a movie we've never seen before, but I've not heard a lot about, but I feel like I've seen so many memes for this film that I feel like it's like Hall of Fame level just in that alone. I would put it all right up there with like Star Wars prequels. I feel like Star Wars prequels is probably the most I've ever seen memed, but American Psycho, I feel like, is a very close second. I never realized that those memes were from this movie <laughs> until Anthony was like, yeah, that's like an American Psycho meme. And I was like, what? Like, I had literally no idea. Yeah. So. I feel like because... Because most of the memes I see, it's usually all like a scene um, that's always kind of different, but it doesn't really tell you much about like the story. I don't feel like I know anything about the story. I feel like he's like a killer. It, I've never seen it. Yeah. yeah. I so, haven't either, so. I think he's a killer. I think, but I'm not sure. I mean, it's called American Psycho. Yeah. But also, I honestly just love Christian Bale. I feel like his acting is like master class because mm -hmm. just the effort that he puts into each role, you know? Yeah, we definitely love Christian Bale. I know this is a popular movie that he's in that we haven't seen, so I'm excited to see his act. I, I feel like I always just love watching him act. All right, well, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our Patreon if you want to see our full-length reaction to this film. I'm also doing 30 days of cosplay over on my Instagram. Make sure you're following me so you can keep up with all of my cosplays for the rest of the month. All right, let's jump into this movie. Put my leg up <laughs> to get comfortable, cozy for the ride. <laughs> Ow. I'd be upset with these portion sizes. They make the plates look pretty. But that's but... why they give you like 10 courses. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. Not that I've ever had a fancy meal like that. Can you imagine having like a 10 course meal? <laughs> I'd get so full. Are basing our weather's not Robinson? Well, who is it then? It's Paul Allen. Paul Allen's on the other side of the room over there. Well, who's he with? I'm Weasel from Kicker Peabody. They don't have a good bathroom to do coke in. Are you sure that's Paul Allen? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Bastard. Lucky Jew bastard. Jesus, McDermott, what does that have to do with anything? It's too loud or is it okay? <laughs> that's fine for me. Okay. <laughs> I remember being in Vegas once and like my drunk friend was trying to slip the friggin' bouncer or fucking 20 to get in and he said this is Vegas, that ain't gonna get you shit. <laughs> what the fuck dancing is that? What, did this, when did this come out? I think 99. Okay, I was like, this looks like the cusp of late 90s, early 2000s fashion. Yeah. You can always tell like the difference. 99 or 2000, but yeah, one of those two. Cause like early 90s was slightly different than like later 90s. $25. A lot of this aesthetic's coming back right now. You're a fucking ugly bitch. Oh shit. shit. He didn't say it. Yeah, though. okay, okay. It's in his mind. It's like when you're working customer service and you get like a mean customer mm -hmm. and you have to hold it in. <laughs> it's an interesting chair. What? Oh. That chair, isn't that weird? <laughs> yeah. No, I was looking at the, whatever that is, telescope? I like the furnishing. In the morning, I thought we were gonna see like puffy, human. I'll put on an ice pack while doing my stomach crunches. I can do a thousand oh. now. It's like those morning routine YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use scrubs on your face. So the late 90s, people were still <laughs> believing propaganda back then. <laughs> <laughs> we do chemical exfoliants now, <laughs> not physical. <laughs> then moisturizer, then an anti-aging eye balm. Oh my gosh, she's so freaking meticulous. Protective lotion. This is like more skincare than I do. <laughs> I only do like three things. You can shake my hand and feel flesh gripping yours, and maybe you can even sense our lifestyles are probably comfortable. I'm crazy. <laughs> I simply am not there. Damn. Why was that weirdly sometimes relatable, but like not? <laughs> <laughs> this is okay. Mean. <laughs> now that I see it. It was That's what he's listening to? <laughs> is he? Yeah, I guess. Oh, or is it just the sound? <laughs> Feather friends for 600. You're in courtship. And lots of chocolate truffles. 
Hmm. There she is. Yeah. I'm trying to listen to the new Robert Palmer tape, but Evelyn, my supposed fiance, keeps buzzing in my ear. A fiance? Fiance? Supposed? Father practically owns the company. You can do anything you like, silly. I don't want to talk about it. I hate that job anyway. Because I want to fit in. That's okay. an interesting thing to say. I'm fairly certain that Timothy Bryce and Evelyn are having an affair. Timothy is the oh. only oh. interesting person I know. I'm almost completely indifferent. They're being that close, like in front of him. There are a lot more important problems in Sri Lanka to worry about. Like what? Well, we have to end apartheid for one. Seeing him in the suit just reminds me of Bruce Wayne so much, <laughs> <laughs> which is funny because he got that role after this. <laughs> Most importantly, we have to promote general social concern. Patrick, <laughs> how thought provoking. So I'm gonna try and, oh, I thought he was gonna get mugged. Or, I don't know if he would get mugged or okay. someone would attempt to mug him. I love those coats. Let's bring him back, that style. <laughs> On men and women. I like long coats. What is he doing? Hello. Is this where he's gonna be psycho? Hello. The question is like, what kind of psycho is he? <laughs> like, a serial killer? Or are we just your, you know, friendly neighborhood psycho? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what are we? <laughs> Bleachy. Are you trying to say bleachy? Oh my god. Oh, that's blood. Oh. Oh. I can only get these sheets in Santa Fe. Why would you just throw them away? Oh, okay. Well, why would you do it on expensive sheets? Then why can't they get these stains out? I mean, can you talk to these people or something? I'm not getting any. Oh, what are those? Oh, well, it's. Say wine? I've really got to go. I'll Christ. I'll call you. Okay. I mean, that's probably just Listen, an excuse, you're dating but still. Lewis, he's in Arizona, you're fucking me, and we have- She's just watching porn? <laughs> I know it's a little late, but is it possible to reserve a table for two at eight or eight-thirty, perhaps? Are you getting laughed? Don't piss him off, he'll kill you. Maybe. I think he thinks it's like a joke, yeah. you know? That you would, like, make a reservation on the day of? Mm. <laughs> At least that's how I took it. Terrible customer service! I know. I just want a child. Just a child? Oh. She is like, what the? She's on drugs. I know, but like, <laughs> why is she out and about right now? This is Dorothy. Maybe that's why she didn't want to yes, originally go out. How on earth did you get a reservation there? Lucky, I guess. <laughs> that's a wonderful suit. Don't tell me, don't tell me, let me guess. Valentino Couture. Uh-huh. Looks so soft. Oh. Mm. He also has a penchant for Valentino suits and Oliver Peoples so, glasses. Yeah, the same Marcus suit. and I even go to the same barber. <laughs> I got an 8.30 res at Dorcia. Everybody loves that restaurant. I think he's lying. <laughs> oh, he's pulling out his card. New card. What do you think? <laughs> this is a meme too. Oh, very nice. You remember when Pokemon Go came out? Yeah. And it was like it was like a Q bone. <laughs> New card. What do you think? Good coloring. That's bone. It's very cool, Bateman. But that's nothing. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Eggshell with Romalian type. What do you think? Wow, corporate life. Be Business like uh, cards. be like Liver King and put it on wood. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that Bryce prefers Van Patten's card to mine. But wait, <laughs> you haven't seen nothing yet. So serious. Yeah. Very nice. Mm. Let's see Paul Allen's card. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Like so it's like intense. a my card's bigger than your card <laughs> situation. <laughs> you don't even have a metal case for yours. Look at that subtle off white coloring. The tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. <laughs> it even has a watermark. <laughs> Honestly, he, he killed this role when we're only 20. Why do they all in. say vice president? Are, mm -hmm. like, are they different vice presidents or like are they the same role? <laughs> VPs of different, different areas of the company. Maybe, maybe. Which I don't even know what the fuck he's working at. To be I was honest. like, what do you do for your <laughs> job? You just like watch TV and put your feet up <laughs> and go to dinners. Mm -hmm. Like, do people really eat out this much? Homeless guy? What's he gonna do? A dog. You got a negative attitude. That's what's stopping you. You gotta get your act together. I'll help you. <laughs> the dog's just looking. You are so kind, Mr. It's okay. I can tell. Please. Oh, he doesn't like being touched. Oh. Oh. I don't have anything in common with you. 
Oh, thank you. Like, thank is he you. just doing this because he thinks this is like what you're supposed to do? Like, help people, I you can't know? can't tell. Loser you are. What? Hmm? Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh my oh, gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did you go I know the dog. Of the dog. I know. <laughs> well, I mean, not to sound insensitive, I but didn't... people get stabbed and die in movies all the time. But like, when do you see dogs get stomped out? <laughs> like, oh. it's like he went up trying to be like. I don't even know. Nice, Maybe he was just trying just, to like, like freaking, you know. Couldn't do it. I, I feel know. like he was still gonna kill him. I don't know. Ugh. My nightly bloodlust has overflowed into my days. I feel lethal mm. on the verge of friend. So he does have the bloodlust. Risk of sanity is about to slip. Uh, so you just about to go on like a straight killing spree? Of course, who else? Mistletoe alert! Merry X Miss Patrick. Merry X Miss Harry. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Good late, honey. Oh, yes, you are. Is that a pig? <laughs> it's a Vietnamese pot belly pig. My darling pets. <laughs> Don't you? Don't you? <laughs> I had a former co worker who had a pot belly pig as a pet. Alan! Marcus! Merry Christmas, how you been? Workaholic, I suppose. He's so young, <laughs> Jared Leto. Hey, Hamilton, we're going to Nell's. Limo's out front. We should have dinner. Marcus Halberstram for two at seven. Do we never eat at home? <laughs> By the way, almost completely empty. I'm very sorry, sir. j and straight and a Corona. Would you like to hear the double absolute? <laughs> What is up with all these menus? I uh, know, they got wooden They're menus, so they got fancy. metal menus. Texarkana? They got miso soup. <laughs> There's a real beehive of activity, Halberstram. This place is hot. Mud soup and charcoal arugula are outrageous here. Yeah, well, you're late. Hey, I'm a child of divorce. Give me a break. Me? That's a weird excuse, <laughs> <Me>? bro. <laughs> I'm always late, too. <laughs> but, like, I'm a child of divorce. Is that, that is your excuse? <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that. <laughs> but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> or he might. I like to dissect girls. Did you know I'm utterly insane? No, oh, it's, it's in his head. Maybe. I don't know. I can't drunk. tell. Those coronas. Well, you know, Cecilia, I think she's having dinner with um, Evelyn Williams. Evelyn, great ass. Goes out with that loser Patrick Bapin. What a dork. <laughs> Another martini, Paul. Uh -huh. He's gonna kill. Oh my gosh, there's paper already laid out and shit. He's so about to kill him. Oh, does he put on like music while he does it? And how did he never figure out that's not him? Like, <laughs> similar hairstyles, similar suits. Sports came out in 83. I think they really came into their own, commercially and artistically. The whole album has a clear, crisp sound and a new sheen of oh consummate professionalism. <laughs> really so drunk the even to realize it. Just like with casual small talk. What is he, he taking? Had yeah. Does it help? Do you uh, just not I take it? I don't fucking think it helped. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, oh my God. God. But I think Huey has a far more bitter, cynical sense of humor. <laughs> it's just like the way he's talking, the though. The juxtaposition of his, yeah. you know. He's... Raincoat? Yes, it is. <laughs> In 87, Huey released this. Four, their most accomplished album. I think their undisputed masterpiece is Hip to Be Square. Song no, oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh. Because it's not just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of friends, it's also a personal statement about the band itself. Hey, Paul! Ah, oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Try getting a reservation at Dorkin now, you fucking stupid bastard! Because he got the reservation? Oh my god! <laughs> You know how he was jealous about the fucking card, too? <laughs> wow. He did give a great performance. I know. And, like, when he's just talking, you can tell he's just reciting, like, you know, things mm -hmm. he's heard other people say or what <laughs> you're supposed to say, but it's like an exaggeration because he doesn't have a personality. <laughs> <laughs> well. But he has a thing for music, though. He's talked about it so much. <laughs> oh, wow. Is nobody gonna question that? <laughs> oh my gosh, what the fuck? What about the fucking blood on the ground? There's none there though, was it? Yeah, I guess it just like, I don't know, was leaking out at or certain times. Like, just, You're just gonna put it in the back of a taxi? Oh my god. Oh fuck, people that he knows. This is my very good friend Patrick. <laughs> Did you Mason. say by his name? Where are you going? We're going to Nell. Gwendolyn's father is buying it. Where did you oh get that gosh. overnight bag? Oh. Uh, <laughs> 
Sean Paul. Everyone's so superficial. How has he not got caught yet? He doesn't mm. seem like he's very like, you know, well, secretive about. It. Start the pack. You're taking his shit. Oh, like okay. to make it look like he's yeah, okay, okay. okay. I like that briefcase. Been called away to London for a few days. Meredith, <laughs> I'll call you when I get back. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Is this good enough, though? I feel like yeah. the like you would get caught. Well, <laughs> if he's going somewhere, right? Like you're thinking, like, oh, maybe he just never came back. I don't know. There's some Mr. Donald Kimball here to see you. I think she's in Desperate Housewives. She's mm -hmm. really young here. Let's see what he's gonna ask him. Now, John, you've got. It's like, is this your voice <laughs> on Paul I'm... Allen's fucking like a? Uh, what was it called? Oh, it's William Willem Dafoe. Willem. I was about to fuck up again and call him William. I'm Donald Kimball. Hi, Pat Bateman. Nice to meet you. Sorry to barge in on you like this. I know how busy you guys can get. He just listens to music all day. No, <laughs> man, watch him and looks at porn. <laughs> oh, what's the topic of discussion? The disappearance of Paul. He just said that, yeah. Right. You're being too suspicious. Well, I, um... Yeah, he's moving too jittery, you know? Oh, no, it's about the freaking desk. <laughs> it's because he doesn't, like, think of things the same way, yeah. you know, other people do. Not really, I'm okay. Like, it's just not, sure, I can always get you like, a, a natural, just like, you know. some preliminary questions <laughs> I need for my own class. I can always get you a line. Oh, my gosh. I love this performance, yeah. though. Your address? The American Gardens Building, West 81st Street. What can you tell me about Paul Allen? I'm at a loss. He was part of that whole Yale thing. Yale thing. Yeah. It's like that bastard has a nicer apartment than I do. I hope I'm not being cross-examined here. You feel like that? No, not really. Where did Paul hang out? Yeah, you know, hang out. Newport? Harry's, Fluties, Indochine, Nell. What do you think he does, or what do you think he does with the bodies? Yeah. It's like, how he has like, not you, been caught yet? How do you dispose of them? His girlfriend doesn't think so. But has anyone seen him in London? Actually, yes. Hmm. But I've had a hard oh. time getting actual verification. Uh, Stephen Hughes <laughs> said he saw him at Did a restaurant. Do that? Facilitated that, I feel like it. I mean, obviously. I mean, no one's dealing with the homicide squad yet or anything, right? No, not yet, as I said. When uh, sure. I mean, if I was this, like, detective, I would, like, walk out and be like, that dude probably did it. <laughs> if anything else occurs to you, any information... Absolutely, I'm 100% with you. Great. And thanks for your time, Mr. Bateman. He always uses the lunch date as an excuse. Like, that's, like, his, like, pattern of mm -hmm. conversation. Like, to dismiss, he's like, I have a lunch date at blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Um. What kind oh. Of... Wait. What? Is he just? Is that? What's oh. On the... oh, oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> this, this, no, this could go several ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are several possibilities. Uh. Did you take a credit card? <laughs> Joke. Let me just pull out my credit card reader, like. I uh, know. <laughs> like they didn't have Squarespace back then. <laughs> Squarespace? Oh, wait, square? You just mean the square? Oh, the square. Squarespace is like the website. The, wait, like the website? Oh, whatever. <laughs> You're Christy. You're to respond only to Christy. Is that clear? Okay, what is he using her for? Didn't he say, like, she does couples? It's a very like, nice shard that's what I heard. I want you to clean your vagina. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Also, did she say she was in her early 20s? Because she looks a lot <laughs> Christy? I want his apartment. Dry off. <laughs> Unrelated. Choose a it's uh, interesting, the stone yeah. behind the, the tub. But yeah, that tub is fucking nice. I'm Paul. How good of you to come. Not quite blonde, are you? Oh, so he was ordering two different... Okay. Don't you want to know what I do? No. I own Wayne Enterprises. <laughs> Come Wall Street. He's gonna tell you anyway. <laughs> Pierce and Pierce. They're not gonna boost your ego here. <laughs> I don't want you to get drunk, but uh, that's a very fine Chardonnay. You're not drinking. No, the music's coming on. Like, I can't tell where this is going. Is this gonna be like a sexual thing or a murder thing? Phil Collins' presence became more apparent. I think Invisible Touch groups undisputed masterpiece. Like, I can get over how much I love the apartment, I'm sorry. 
Am I okay? <laughs> I still can't tell if this is like murder or sex. <laughs> Take the lyrics to Land of Confusion. In this song, Phil Collins addresses the problems of abusive political authority. I actually do think he really does like the music. Into deep. Because he knows so many details about like all these different like songs. Oh, uh, there's no like friggin... Sabrina, don't like just stare movie. at it, eat it. Oh, oh my gosh! Gosh. Oh my, my gosh. gosh. What the heck? Oh, you know, what? this is a freaking meme too, yeah. <laughs> I think I've seen this meme as like, um, you know, when you're doing the business but you're checking out your gains. <laughs> he's just staring at himself the whole fucking time. That's crazy. <laughs> Why is this giving me like Homelander energy? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I get, oh, I never even thought about that, yeah. Like this specific part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How is he gonna kill him? Oh. Don't oh. touch me. Oh. <laughs> I mean, they touched earlier, so. <laughs> but not the watch. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like he's gonna kill him now. Ah, oh, he's killing. Oh, he's killing. Or? Uh, he opened up a drawer of tools. Though God knows what the fuck that means. Are ugly chicks. Absolutely. And this is because they have to make up for how fucking unattractive they are. Do you know what Ed Gein said about women? Ed Gein, maitre d' account. He's quoting Ed Gein? Oh my god. Well, I mean, he's crazy. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you know that's what the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was based on? Your head would look like on a stick. He's like, I think about that. Too. He's like laughing about it. No one, no oh one else thinks this is too far, funny. bro. Too I far. On something. It's my business card. Oh, does he have a card? Oh, God. oh shit! It better not be better than his. You know how they feel about business cards. Oh, the letters were like uh, gold. Very nice, Lewis. Mm, yeah. Ooh. Oh, death warrant. How? Oh my gosh! <laughs> the music and how the stare. <laughs> it's gonna like this bastard. He's gonna kill him. Listen, what about dinner? Is it is kind of funny how he just like stopped by to show his card and then yeah. walk off. Oh, oh gloves are on. Is he gonna do it right here in the freaking restroom? I mean, he said his uh, his bloodlust was spilling over to yeah. the day. And he's like angry. Oh, that's my secret. <laughs> I'm always angry. <laughs> like all. Yeah. What the heck? Oh. oh, he thinks he's like making an advance on him. Why he's like, I've been waiting. I've seen you looking at me. Oh, <laughs> not in that <laughs> way. <laughs> Hot boy. But he, if you go with it, you can if you it. go with it, you could be like, meet me back in my place. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying like you could get out of this. Well, I'm saying if you want to like do it in a, a spot where you're not gonna get killed, I'm thinking about it from the killer's perspective. I can't believe he was just about to do it in the restaurant well, like I that. I mean, he's freaking. Losing it. <laughs> the other dude too was just like so down, like, all right, right here in the restroom. <laughs> he's, I was like, he's like, I've been waiting. <laughs> it's like, I got this card just so to catch your eye a little bit more. <laughs> when was the last time you were with Paul Allen? We'd gone to a new musical called Oh Africa, Brave Africa. It was a laugh riot. <laughs> <laughs> the way he said it! With like it such a, a straight riot. face. Oh my gosh. I love his acting. So good. Patrick, can we talk? You look marvelous. <laughs> it's just like, like a go-to, yeah. yeah. He has a bunch of, you know, yeah. things he goes to. If I don't see you before Easter, have a nice one, okay? Oh, That's is she gonna kill ominous, herself? Yeah. You too. Oh. No, he, I mean, you're telling it to the yeah. wrong person because this dude does not give a fuck. Patrick? Yeah? Nothing. Uh, I feel like she's gonna do it. Yeah. Kind of, this is a costume party? <laughs> oh, they're just doing drugs in the bathroom. Paul thinks it's okay. Fuck you. They fuck you. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <My> steroids. What? <laughs> Steroids. <laughs> so what do you do? I'm into uh, well, murders and executions mostly. Do you like it? Why? Well, most guys I know 
who work in mergers and acquisitions. Like, mergers and oh, acquisitions? Oh, she's a... <laughs> I was like, wait, did I hear it wrong? <laughs> oh my gosh, is that her hair? Yeah. Uh, okay, Sounds weird to say this, but I like how they change it up and it's not always just showing him mm -hmm. kill either. Meat. Me oh my gosh, bone meat. What the? F bone meat. No, no, I don't have any plants. <laughs> Has it gotten that crazy where he's gonna wow. kill his assistant? Listen, where should we go? Anywhere you want. <laughs> Let's not think about what I want. How about anywhere you want? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that was a good comeback line. <laughs> <laughs> where do you want to go? Anywhere you Never want. ask a girl Say where they want to eat. You won't get an answer. <laughs> <laughs> you just end up yelling at each other after an hour. <laughs> Story of our life. <laughs> <laughs> Dorcia is where Jean wants to go. Oh, I don't know. No, we'll go in wherever you want to go. Dorcia is fine. Watch him not get a reservation. Oh my gosh, she's gonna flip shit. Why don't you meet me at my place at seven? And Jean? I don't wanna change before we go out. <laughs> Why do you like him? <laughs> He's a dick. But uh, regardless, this is gonna you. be fucking wild. Jean? Like he's. Oh my ah! gosh! Thanks, Patrick. I love. He's, and it's funny what you were like saying that earlier. Yeah. Like you were expecting to see like body parts. That's all right. I'm not very good at. He's like I wasn't gonna do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he gonna get the freaking marine coat? Oh, what knives. You really want to do with your life? Just briefly summarize, and uh, don't tell me you enjoy working with children. This is. Okay. I mean, he well, has to have gone way so like far off. I mean, he was already crazy, but like. Killing yeah. somebody who works right next to you when the cops are already questioning you? Do you have a boyfriend? No, not I really. I feel like she'd be here. Interesting. Are you seeing anyone? I mean, she's gonna take it as like a flirting, and he's like, mm -hmm. "I'm gonna murder." Developing, okay. growing, growing. <clears throat> I'm glad you said that. This is what's this like a just a pantry? <laughs> it's a pantry of supplies. <laughs> Ted Bundy's first dog. You're just walking up with him. <laughs> 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 you heard this? Are you not questioning this? He loves killers. <laughs> she didn't know who Ted Bundy was. Was that Evelyn? Are you still seeing her? I'm sorry. I have no right to ask that. Do you want me to go? Yeah. See us. Okay, good. Oh, good. Thanks, Evelyn. You saved her life. Do you want me to go? But you well, just said you have a tendency to get involved. <laughs> something bad will happen. You think it's something, and he yeah, thinks that he's saying something else, and <laughs> not emotionally though. <laughs> I'm really gonna kill you, and he can't control it. I don't want to get bruised. Oh my gosh, she's like, I can't control it either. Walk out the door, don't you come come back. Don't forget oh, to gosh. date tomorrow with Donald Kimball at Smith and Walensky's. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, well. Clutch phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what Donald's got on him. Like, will he try and call him out in a public place? The night he disappeared. He's not even eating. Any new thoughts about what you did? I'm sure. He's sweating. Um, I had a shower <laughs> and some sorbet. Because he wants to kill him? <laughs> well, does Marcus have an alibi? Yes. He does, you're sure. I checked it out. It's clean. But you look like him. <laughs> he wasn't with Paul Allen. Who was he with? At Atlantis. Craig McDermott, Frederick Dibble, Harry Newman, George Butner, and you. <laughs> All right, yeah. Court. He looks so suspicious right now. I mean, he looks suspicious from like day one here, so. To mm. think that one of his friends killed him for no reason whatsoever would be too ridiculous. I mean, that right he got back? that reservation. I can't tell if he's just like, he's saying that to like, kind of reassure him so that he's a little bit more calm. 
Oh, he's meeting up with her again. Mm, I feel like it's gonna be death this time. Say no this time. You fucking yeah. know what happened last time. Say no. Won't be anything like oh last gosh. time. I promise. I don't think so. Come in the limo and talk to me for a minute. Oh my gosh. The driver's here. Be safe. No. The driver was there yeah, last time. I know. Should have never gotten in that car. Nothing like last. Don't take the drink. I promise. All right. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, because it's gonna be death this time. <laughs> oh, this is your death sentence if you take this. Went to a birthday party there from Malcolm Forbes. Oh my God, please. This is nicer than your other apartment. It's not that nice. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Whose place is this? Isn't this the guy he this killed? Paul Allen? Why yeah. the fuck would you go here? You don't fucking go back to his place? Is he just like that assured that he's like not a suspect? Get a platinum card, she'd give you a blowjob. Listen, this girl worked at a tanning salon, need I say more? What do you do? Cousin. Uh -huh. uh, what the? Uh, that was a bad. You yeah, well, could have said else? like a friend of a friend, or like <laughs> I met her at the farmers market. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like I have no idea what you have planned for tonight, but like, I would just like to see the two of you get it on. <laughs> What's wrong mm -hmm. with that? It's totally disease. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> it's your fucking cousin. Not <laughs> <laughs> a lesbian. Why would you think I would be into that? You went to Sarah Lawrence for one thing. Those are Sarah Lawrence guys, Patrick. You're making me feel weird. Mm. Not as weird as when he kills you later. Oh my gosh. You actually listen to Whitney Houston? Go. You own a Whitney Houston CD? <laughs> mm, don't make fun don't of him. Don't make fun of him. And don't make fun of Whitney Houston. Mm. <sighs> She's one of the greats. The greatest love of all. Is one of the best, most powerful songs ever written. I love that song. Well, I'm like disagreeing with him. We can always empathize with ourselves. It's an important message. Crucial, really. Also, this apartment is nowhere near as nice as yeah. his, so I don't know what they were talking about. It's weak sauce. <laughs> She gonna try and leave? Leave before he kills you! Get out quick, get out quick. I they just like forget the clothes either. Oh gosh! The blood on the sheets. Oh, oh my gosh! Get the fuck out quick! Run. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he just stored the blood is her! Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. The chainsaw. Oh my gosh. This literally took the chainsaw massacre. He's like, I got inspiration for that. Ed <laughs> Where is. How, where, how, where is the door? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ew. He was trying to bite the leg. That was random. <laughs> <laughs> was like, you had a freaking chainsaw. Like, I feel like that's not what you would, like, lead with. <laughs> He's like, that was my Jeffrey Dahmer move. <laughs> Literally just run, like don't even, just keep running. Yeah. Run to the street. Does, does no one live here? Like. Should have never gotten in his car again. <laughs> he doesn't oh give gosh. a fuck anymore. <laughs> he's just running out in tennies. <laughs> it's so funny to me that he's running around naked but with his tennis shoes on. <laughs> Is he gonna like throw it? Oh. I mean, I don't feel like he'd throw it. He's trying to scare her off, or he's not like running after her. Or is he gonna like time it and like drop it? That's what I'm saying. He's gonna. Oh my gosh. How is like where is everybody that lives in this like apartment? Like, did no nobody would have thought that? How long has he even been doing it? Nobody like questions anything. How the fuck do you get away with this? Yeah. 
And he's drawing about it. Talk about what, Patrick? Mm -hmm. It's over. Oh Evel, it's all over. Touchy, touchy. I'm sorry I brought up the wedding. Let's just avoid the issue, all right? Oh my gosh, that's no way to be engaged. I think we should see each other anymore. But your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. I really don't think it would work. Okay. <laughs> it wouldn't work to break up? Are my friends, and, uh, and I, I've thought about that. What about the past? Our past? We never really shared one. You're inhuman. No, I'm yeah, in uh, touch kind of. with humanity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in touch with it. the situation and uh, I'm going. Where are you going? <laughs> Just leaving. But where? Oh, <laughs> why doesn't he just leave? He always says that too yeah. in videotapes. He has like go-to yeah. lines like yeah. lunch dates, Video uh, videotapes. There was another one. He like uh, compliments a woman. Mm -hmm. Like you look yeah. amazing today. Like we need to talk. Yeah, you look great. Yeah, like that's his... Don't kill, cat cat. Don't kill the cat. Don't, Don't kill the cat. Don't kill the cat. Don't stomp it. Don't stomp it. Oh my gosh, he's gonna kill it. He loves he's gonna killing. Kill it. Oh yeah. <laughs> he loves killing. Oh gosh. No! Oh no! I don't this wanna dude. see it. I don't. Oh. I don't see it. I can't. What the fuck? He's got a. What are you doing? Stop that. He's gonna kill oh, you instead. My okay. Gosh. I don't even know how to describe this because it's not like he's gone off the deep end because he was already there, but like now he can't control it. And he just does it in public and like. I know. Like he has to get caught. I he's mean, so yeah, there's. Sloppy. I know. It's not even like, you know, well thought out yeah. killings. He's like. <laughs> oh. Oh, whoa. Is he really just gonna take them all out? <laughs> what the heck? I mean, he's Batman. <laughs> Actually, he's Bateman. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Yeah, good. Wow. I mean, he got out away with it again. I have no fucking idea how. Like, where is he going at this point? Is he going back to the office? <laughs> Seems like no one is ever like Smith. out and about. Oh hey, wait, don't forget there, to there sign is somebody. In. He's gonna kill him. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He has to. I mean, this caught. is the end. They're like, there's no yeah, coming back from like, this. It's not like he's like hiding it in his apartment and like disposing of the bodies at this point. Like he's getting seen so many times. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. Like, he's so fucking crazy. I mean, I know that's the like point. obvious, but like. He just like went around the revolving door and just killed the freaking janitor. Is that the same guy? No. No. Okay. It was a different. Okay, signing in. Like maybe trying to be an alibi. I don't think there's an alibi at this point. This is like looks like the exact same building. I think it's I just a, a different part of the. Building. I can't even tell honestly if this is in his head at this point. You know. The other thing had was like an enclave, hmm. but I don't. Know. Well, this is his office. I mean, I don't freaking know anymore. I don't know. I mean, he's I mean, crazy. He's psycho. <laughs> <laughs> so. Watch like he never did any of it, and it was just all what he thought about doing. I killed another girl. <laughs> She's dead too. I killed Paul Allen <laughs> with an axe in the face. I don't want to leave anything out here. I guess I've killed maybe Matt Murdock. I <laughs> know. Where was he On during all this? <laughs> Just had to kill a lot of people, and um, I'm not sure I'm gonna get away with it. Oh, uh, I mean, oh. I don't even think Saul Goodman can get you out of this. <laughs> if you get back tomorrow, nope. I meet you up at Harry's bar. Oh, you know, <laughs> you're not getting out of this. You're gonna get caught. Keep your eyes open. You went to your office, like. <sighs> Like, I'm not trying to give him He's ideas. Like, oh, I got that off my chest. Well, I was gonna say, like, maybe you should, like, try and flee the country or something. He made it back to his apartment? Huh? I guess that no one 
knew it was him, you know, the people who saw him got killed, so. But I imagine there's like security cam footage. Is, aren't there cameras on ATMs? I don't know. Or I think there are were cameras they back on ATMs. Then, yeah, I guess that's a, like a question that I don't know the answer to. <laughs> <laughs> Where the attorney was like, fuck, <laughs> attorney of client <laughs> privilege. <laughs> I'm calling the cops. <laughs> like, this dude just per, um, like confessed to like dozens of murders. This really. I'm so confused right now. Is this like, like is he just crazy? The like, the guy's apartment? Yeah, was this, this what's his face is? Paul Allen? This is where the bodies know. were hung. You saw the ad in the time. If you haven't killed anybody, go commit yourself, like instantly. <laughs> there was no ad in the times. I think you should go now. But I think I want to know what happened there. Don't make any trouble, please. I suggest you go. I'm so freaking confused. I'm confused. I don't know. Like, I mean, it might be all in his head. Don't come back. I won't. Don't worry. This is weird. This is so friggin' weird. Like, what the heck is even going on right now? Like, the furniture. I mean, that, obviously the bodies, but like... <laughs> he Has he just been like off his pills or he's been taking too much? I mean, he just and he's having out. these visions? Could that that'd be a crazy twist. What is it, Patrick? Are you all right? <laughs> sounding so fucking sad. <laughs> How could you fall for that? That person. <laughs> now I just want to know what's really going yeah. on. It'd be wild if this like, whole thing was in his head. Yeah. And like he didn't kill anyone. Schedule? Was this like his his hidden schedule? Was that like a schedule that she just moved over? It's like a journal, maybe? He pulled it out when he was talking to the cop earlier, so. Yeah. So, uh, Harold, did you get my message? Jesus, yes, that was hilarious. That was you, wasn't it? Yeah, natural. Bateman killing Alan. Okay. Oh my gosh, she thinks it's a joke? By the way, Davis, how's Cynthia? You're still seeing her, right? Wait, Harold. Oh my gosh, they just don't even believe it. Excuse me, not is that Edward Towers? What the heck? Now, if you said Bryce or McDermott, otherwise it was a They think he's now, the other guy? Me. I really must be going. <laughs> Wait, um. Or is he that guy and he has like an alternate persona? I'm confused. Uh, yeah. I really must be going now. No, <laughs> What the heck? Don't you know who I am? I'm not Davis. I'm Patrick Bateman. I feel like he's not Patrick Bateman. Don't you recognize me? Or he... You're my lawyer. No, Wait, what? What the heck? <laughs> can't make myself any clearer. But that's simply not possible. And I don't find this funny anymore. It never was supposed not to possible. be. Watch him walk up on him. Watch him be alive. Because oh, I, I think this is a meme too. And twice in Lego. No, what? you. What the fuck? He was in London for real? Now what the know. fuck is going on? <laughs> this movie is. That's why wild. the detective didn't really question yeah. him that much, because he like. <laughs> and then he. Do you think he actually went to London? And he just made up a scenario about it, like after. I have no idea. Oh my gosh. Maybe like incidents happen and then he takes them further in his head, yeah. you know? Kind of like that first scene where we're yeah, like yeah. hearing him like cuss out the bartender. And we were just seeing it from his perspective mm -hmm. when nothing really ever happened. Like the nail gun. Oh, but I still feel like he might not be. I mean, the dude's the, fucking the Bateman, crazy. Patrick Bateman. Because like several people like keep referring to him like. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I might be wrong about that. Be so fucking zany about. I'm just a happy camper. Yeah. Rocking it Unless they're all not really real. 
these guys. I was like, I may not have killed anybody here. And he's just chilling by himself. And I gain no deeper knowledge of myself. No new knowledge can be extracted from my telling. This confession, nothing. Don't tell me it's gonna end like Don't that. Don't tell us we're never gonna know. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my gosh. This movie no, is fucking wild. No, I hate that. Wild, I mean, I really though. like the movie, but I wanted to know. I want to yeah. know the truth. This movie was so crazy. That was like a mind trip. I know. I feel like I shouldn't have been drinking during it because now I feel like I'm questioning everything. But I guess maybe that's just the way the movie's supposed to make it feel like. <laughs> because right now, I'm just like... What the hell even just happened there? Like, was it all just like in his head the whole time? Like, I feel like that's kind of like a conclusion that's we were coming to. That's kind of what I, I felt like. This reminded me of the anime movie Perfect Blue. Ooh, a little bit. Yeah. If you like this one, go watch Perfect Blue, even if you're not into anime. It's a mind trip. Yeah. It was, it's like so many possibilities. Like, I guess one possibility is it was just always like the beginning, which when he like thought it in his mind what he wanted to do to that, mm. the bartender and like never actually did. And like, we were just seeing it from his mind's yeah. perspective, but he also thought he was actually doing that. Like, following through but on he those never actions, did yeah. um or he like i mean i don't i don't really fully understand why he kept getting mixed up with that other guy i mean i guess you could say oh they look like each other but if you worked in close proximity with somebody you would know the difference even if two people like yeah. look like each other you know unless i don't know like and then the lawyer like the lawyer was like supposed to be his lawyer and didn't mm -hmm. even like well, he said it was like a joke which which i think you know, he did make that phone call, like, to yeah. the lawyer and, like, you know, did all, like, the, the confession and whatnot. But it's probably just off the events that transpired in his head and not actual events yeah. that happened. I mean, and then that's the guy the was in London, like. for real? That's what I'm saying. Like, maybe he's, like, you know, projecting. You're like, okay, so the first incident we saw where he was, like, saying something to somebody and you were like, oh, it's in his head at the very beginning at the bar. And he was, like, you know, cussing out or yelling or saying derogatory stuff to the bartender. And then I was like, okay, so I feel like this is what's going to happen throughout the movie where he's, like, incidents are happening. And maybe that was, like, you know, the little tease of what is to come because yeah. they never really went back to that, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we had, like, this kind of, like, self-monologue throughout, but it wasn't like that first instance, I don't feel like, you know. I mean, he did cuss some people out, but, like, you know, these incidents, like, he could have, you know, went to dinner with Paul Allen, and then he, like, maybe he had everything to do it, and he just didn't do it. And then also with his assistant, maybe... You know, those incidents happened and he did have, like, you know, the freaking thing at her head, which obviously she's alive. But, like, did that even happen? I'm going off the assumption that it did. Like, those incidents, like, the interactions he had with people happened. And then he just didn't follow through with it. But in his head, he did. Also, it could also go back to the personality thing that he kept talking about. Because, like, he was watching things and then he would do the, them. Like, yeah. you know, like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Talk about eating brains or he, and stuff. Or he, you know, yeah. referred to, like, other... Yeah, Ted Bundy, I think he referred to as well. But, like, it's like... He was taking inspiration, and then that, like, you could see those references in the the way he was killing too. So, like, yeah. maybe it was just also just in his mind, and then maybe that's why he wasn't getting caught ever. Which, like, you you would think he would make it so easy to get caught, and then yeah. how unrealistic it was that he like shot all the cops and blew up the car and just walked yeah. away. You know, like, I mean, I don't really know, but it seems like maybe it, it, like he wasn't, and maybe that's why the detective wasn't really ever like that suspicious yeah. of him because he was like, oh, he was seen in London. I was like, I oh, you were at the dinner. Like, like, you know, so, so, <laughs> yeah. so I it's don't kinda, know. It's kind of, it's crazy to think about. I liked yeah. it a lot. Even also, like, you know, going back to him seeing things, you know, when he was holding the cat and then it said, like, yeah. feed the cat to the ATM and stuff and he yeah. was about to try to. Um, obviously, that didn't happen. You know, he just, like, yeah. that was in his head. So, man, this movie was really good. And I feel like the more I think about it, I feel like the better it gets It deserves in my head. a rewatch. Yes, I, it really does. And I know we said it, like, early on in this film, but... This kind of, like, solidifies, like, Christian Bale is, like, my favorite actor right now. Like, I know this was older, but, like, I've really enjoyed a lot of Christian Bale's work up to this point. Um, and then seeing, like, a movie like this, too, like, from freaking over 20-something years ago, um, man, he's just such a good actor. I love him. Like, I love his roles. Like, he really, you could really tell that he puts his all into mm -hmm. it, you know? Um, I know, like, a lot of people talk about, you know, like, the extreme, like, weight gain and loss and muscle. I know there was, like, one movie where he, like, lost, like, 100 pounds. And then, like, the the follow-up movie was with Batman, and he had to gain that 100 pounds back. And I know he had to play, like, Dick Cheney, where he had to put on a lot of weight, too. And there was also that other movie. Um, oh, my gosh. What's the guy? He was with um, the guy from The Hangover, Bradley Cooper. And he had, like, um, he had, like a, the bald, like, comb-over and whatnot. American Hustle. 
Russell. Oh, uh, yeah. Where he had to put on a lot of weight for that movie, too. So I know that's widely talked about, but man, you could really tell, like, he just kind of puts his all into his acting, which I really appreciate because, you know, seeing him in, like, this psycho role was so intriguing. Like, seeing, like, how he said, like, oh, we went to a play, it was a riot. And he just yeah. had, like, the straightest face like that is just like crazy great acting in my opinion in a lot of movies like this like this kind of genre i i feel like the the killer or whatever the psycho is so meticulous and like i mean he was meticulous that's not what i mean like but they you know they kill someone and they know exactly what to do or they how to dispose hack the body, into something yeah. and do this and this and like you know they're bit like very good at manipulating and he had mm. all those elements to an extent but he wasn't ever like fully that great at it. Almost, I mean, and it maybe it was because he was in his head, but I feel like seeing that side of it, mm. it was almost like seeing a, a different side of the genre. And mm. I, I thought that was really interesting too. Maybe there were periods of time where he was off his medication as well too. Because maybe. we did see, you know, before he killed Paul Allen, I feel like that was like the first reference we got mm -hmm. of him being on some sort of medication. And then I feel like yeah. it didn't get brought back up again till the very end when he was calling his secretary um, from like the phone booth and whatnot. And then he took like a whole bunch of it um but maybe that was like the reason why you know he was having these visions maybe he right. wasn't taking his medication whatever that medication mm -hmm. may be and like that like kind of exacerbated his like i don't i mean guess fantasies but also just like delusions, delusions. Yeah. yeah i mean honestly like this is a movie that i feel like was so much meticulously thought out like through like the intricacies I feel like you could sit down and think a lot of the instances and interactions he had with people and really like dis dissected and real like try to think like is it in his head or did he have this interaction mm -hmm. like I feel like the whole thing is like a massive mind fuck to me to be honest and you know I saw like recently uh like uh an interview with Christian Bale come up where he like kind of dissects the role I really want to go oh, back yeah, and we'll watch, have to go that. watch yeah. that now mm -hmm. all right well thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye everyone